Hey, guys, how's it going? I was trying to get here quick. I know I was running a little bit late, no pun intended. But anyways, so I'm here today to talk to you about running barefoot. And it's a big trend that's caught on here recently. And you may even notice if you've ran a 5K or gone out and done a tri triathlon lately, you'll see a lot of people running barefoot or running in these, these Vibram Five Finger Shoes. And the reason why it's really caught on is because it's running in the most natural way you can possibly run. And actually a recent medical study has just shown that if you are running barefoot, there is zero torquing on your knee. However, if you are wearing running shoes, your knee is torquing at about 38%, which means it is twisting, it is turning, it's causing injury to your knee. Actually, running shoes cause more torquing in your knee than actually wearing high-heeled shoes, which is about 26% torquing of your knee. And so think about this. Over time, if you are continually wearing running shoes, what it's doing is it's torquing your knee. That's going to cause osteoarthritis, arthritis, and other joint problems. And that's why more and more runners today are switching over to barefoot running. And so I'm a big fan of these Vibram Five Finger Shoes, big fan of barefoot running. I will tell you that you have to be very careful when it comes to running barefoot if you try it on pavement. It does take your body a while to adapt. I'll tell you, I wear these shoes all the time. Uh, just walking around and I actually feel I feel it working my calves working my leg muscles more because you're more on your toes when you're wearing shoes you're actually more of a heel striker you want to be more of a forefoot striker you should be landing on the balls of your feet here and so just a few tips here when it comes to if you are going to switch over to be a barefoot runner or wear these vibrams number one don't start running on pavement start running in the grass or go to a track or a softer surface. So I recommend you start wearing, first off, start wearing these just on a daily basis when you're walking around. Step number two, if you're gonna run in them, start running in them on a track or again in the grass or a softer surface, a trail of some sort. And then finally, after you've done that for a couple months, then work your way up. Do one mile on the road, then two mile, then three mile, but slowly build up your tolerance or it will lead to injuries. But remember the big thing here is, if you are running in shoes all the time that it, that's throwing off your normal gait, it will cause injuries long term. And this is why I think a lot of these marathon runners today end up being 60 years old and their joints are totally worn out. Also, I don't know how normal it is to be running on concrete and pavement. So the more you can, if you wanna save your joints, try and get on dirt trails, run on rubberized tracks, or go out and actually run in the grass. That's gonna save your joints long term. But if you can't get a pair of these Vibram, they're called Vibram Five Finger Shoes, try going barefoot some. And it's even more important because a lot of us get out there and run on occasion, but we're on our feet all day long. So if you have any sort of feet problems at all, or you wanna work on just naturally strengthening up your legs, actually even helping out with things like plantar fasciitis, Morton's neuroma in your foot, or any other sort of feet and leg issues, it's important to be walking around barefoot or in something like these Vibrams or even Nike and some of these other companies now are getting shoes that are completely neutral. Do that as much as possible. I get questions all the time about, hey, what do you think about orthotics? Um, I think that orthotics typically aren't the best thing for most people to be doing. I think, again, the more natural you can be walking, the most natural way you can be on your feet is the best way for your entire body. So go barefoot or go home.